If you have a small business, there is no better way to promote your business than a YouTube channel. There are so many opportunities for education when it comes to YouTube. People watch YouTube for either entertainment or education. And if you're a small business and there is education around what you sell, I highly recommend having a YouTube channel. But before you start, the thing I wanna share with you the most today is what you should do before you start a YouTube channel. If you did this, then you're already steps ahead of everyone. But if you haven't done it yet, if you're just thinking about having a YouTube channel, or maybe you're even thinking of having a YouTube channel as your business, some people create content and YouTube is their business, then you definitely want to tune in for what I'm about to say. So the number one thing before you start a YouTube channel is make sure that you have a well-defined brand. Now we're going to get into what that means, but let me just start by saying, I consider this part of the process pre-work, pre-work. Nobody likes pre-work, but I promise you pre-work is the thing that's going to set you up for success. There's an old saying, teamwork makes the dream work. Well, I've created a new saying and it is pre-work makes the dream work. When you do the pre-work, when you have a solid foundation built, that just sets you up for success. That's going to help people be drawn to you because they're going to have a good understanding of your brand, what you're all about. Pre-work isn't sexy. It isn't fun. So a lot of times people skip this step, but think about it. Have you ever painted a room? If you have, then you know how important pre-work is. It's going to be taping off the baseboards, unscrewing the light sockets, putting the drop costs down, all that pre-work. I don't enjoy it, but it's a necessary part of your painting project. And when you get done, your room is beautiful. So as you're building this YouTube channel, you want to make sure that you do the pre-work, the foundation. And that foundation really just comes from having this well-defined brand that you've got it written out, that it becomes your framework and your roadmap for how you go forward. Branding is the foundation of any business, any platform, any marketing strategy. Branding is number one. And the reason for that is you want to make sure people have a full understanding of who you are, what you're about, what it is that you're offering, and why they should watch your channel, watch your videos, or buy the service that you're promoting. A lot of times people start a channel and they don't really have any idea what they're doing. And this comes down to niche. So if you're doing YouTube as a business, you want to make sure that you understand what is your niche. But if you're a small business, you want to use your YouTube channel to promote your existing business to drive leads, then you should already have a pretty well-defined brand. And you're going to want to make sure that that's evident in your YouTube channel. So from the get go, when we start thinking about what's the header, the header on your YouTube page should give an idea of your branding. This is going to be your brand identity. Brand identity is going to be the logo, the colors, the imagery that represents your brand, but also the messaging. What does your brand stand for? What is your channel trying to accomplish? And the best way to make sure that you're communicating that is to make sure that you have your brand very well defined. So what do I mean by defining your brand? It's really just a series of questions that you would ask yourself if you're doing a personal brand or you would ask of your business. Some of these questions include, who are you? What are your core values? Also, what is your origin story? You might be wondering, what's an origin story? An origin story is just simply the reason why, your why, you're doing this channel or why you have this business and therefore you're promoting it on YouTube. So you'll need to ask yourself, what's your why? The next question you're going to want to ask that is very, very important is who do you serve? Who is the audience that you are trying to connect with that you are solving a problem for? And then what is the problem that you're solving for this audience? 
And then what is your brand personality? And what I mean by that is what is your tone? What is your personality? You know, you have to be careful out there sometimes who you get your advice from. I've been doing marketing for 30 years, and so I have a very deep understanding of branding. What I see out there today is a lot of young whippersnappers that are out there on social media. They, they want to focus on things that could go viral, do this funny dance or this funny joke or this funny song, and that's going to make you go viral. And then that's going to be your brand exposure. If that's not your normal personality to do uh, jokes and trending audio and viral things, then I wouldn't recommend doing it. If that's not part of your company brand, then I wouldn't do it. Now, I personally know a few people in my life who have amazing, hilarious, funny personalities. When they do these kinds of things, they completely pull it off because it is authentically them. If it's not authentically you, don't do it. You wanna focus on being the authority on this subject, creating videos that answer questions that your audience might have. So if you're a mortgage lender, then you're gonna to wanna to create videos around specific questions that people would have about the home buying process. So how much money is needed for a down payment? What are the particulars about this loan? Should I get this loan or this loan? How do I qualify for down payment assistance? There are so many things that you could talk about that are educational based that would showcase your authority. And by showcasing your authority, this makes people want to do business with you and you'll be able to get organic qualified leads from your YouTube channel. When you define the goals of your YouTube channel, it requires thought. It requires that pre-work that we've talked about. But like I said before, pre-work makes the dream work. This is gonna set you up for success. This is gonna be the foundation that you're gonna build on. I cannot stress how important it is. Now, I didn't cover all the questions in our video today. So what I've done for you is I have created a questionnaire for you for free that you can download it. And it's got all the questions that you should be asking yourself before you start your YouTube channel. So you're gonna to wanna to get this. It's in the description below. It's also in the pinned comment. It's a quick, easy download and you can fill out the questions. It's for you to keep, but it's to help you get this stuff down on paper. When you get it down on paper, you're more likely to remember it. You're more likely to follow through with it. And you're, it, it's going to serve as your roadmap. It's going to be that thing that you reference as you're building your YouTube channel, as you're going forward, as you're creating content, you're going to be able to reference it. So make sure you get that free download. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe. Join me on this YouTube journey.